It's time to do a little maintenance on my e-bike. The other day I was riding it home from work. I felt a little bump. One of the wheels might be out of true. This is a rear wheel. It's brand new. I don't think that's the one. I think it's time to true the front wheel. Alright, in order to be able to see which wheel is out of true, I'm going to get the wheel spinning. I'm going to take a little scrap piece of wood that I found on my garage floor. Check lateral trueness, as well as radial. I'm going to check the front wheel, same way. And there's definitely some run out on the front wheel. Also check for radial run out. So it appears there's a little bit of lateral and radial run out on the front wheel. It's time to take care of that. Now I'm going to put the wheel in the truing stand. Before I do, I'm going to pull the tire off. Pulling the tire off makes it easier to true radially. First thing I'm going to do once I have it on here is go around and check the tension. Felt like a few of them were a little loose, and that tends to happen with e-bikes. about a half turn to get it where I want it. So I'm going to go past that and then back to take the stress, the twisting stress out of the spoke. I've gone around made sure that the spokes are tighter. Now the next thing I need to do is make sure that it's laterally true, radially true, and not dishing in any way. I don't have a dish gauge so what I can do is flip the wheel around every so often in this process and make sure that it stays even here. So 
There's a run that goes from here to here, pulls that way. So it involves these four spokes. Feeling the tightness. These two are still a little loose and these two are really tight. So I'm going to loosen these two just a little bit. And the run went away. There's another run. This run is centered pretty much around this spoke here. So I'm going to tighten this one. Quarter turn, little past, and then back. And the run went away. So now with this wheel spinning, tighten these just a little bit. And I have another run. Now that I've gotten the lateral run out fairly true, it's time to start working on the radial run. This nipple here needs to go a little tighter, but it's stripped out, so I'm going to replace it. Remove the old stripped out spoke nipple. See, each spoke plays a very important role. So I have a brand new spoke nipple. Using an old spoke and a little bit of oil. I'll put a drop of oil on the thread. I'm going to make sure I get some oil around here. completely gone away. Back just a little bit to relieve the stress on the spoke. The run is still gone. So a new spoke nipple with a little oil on the spoke did the trick. On to the next run. By going around, tightening and loosening spokes as necessary. I was able to get the wheel pretty true radially. Now I have to go back and retrue it laterally. I've got the wheel pretty close. To avoid dishing, I'm going to go ahead and flip it over. I'm getting down to only the real small runs my finger on here so I can feel it, feel the vibration. So now I have it nice and tight on this side, nice and true, laterally. I still have about a millimeter gap on this side. So now I'm going to flip the wheel over because I don't have a dish gauge yet. Now with the wheel flipped the other way, 
touching this side and I have about a millimeter gap on this side so it seems to me that the wheel is dished so what I'm going to do is tighten up all the spokes on this side so as to pull the wheel this way. So now I have it pretty well trued up laterally, radially. I have it centered so there's no dish. And I have the spokes tensioned. It's time to go reinstall it on the bike. Make sure I get this on there right. Putting the bike on the ground. This is a lock nut. It has that nylon insert to make sure it doesn't come undone. If you don't use a lock nut, use a little lock tight. Back on the bike, the throttle pressed, the same piece of scrap wood, check my job. better than it was. Not perfect, but a lot better. Time to go for a test ride.